Hi guys, today I got two outfits in the mail and I wanted to show them to you because I unboxed them because I was really excited to see which outfits it was. And then I said, let me film me showing them to you. So I'll start with the least expensive outfit. Um, I'm not going to tell you the names of these outfits because I don't remember. Obviously, I just have to look at the eBay listings and then there's the names, but I don't remember the names off my head because I literally just woke up. Also, don't mind Nelly. She fell and it's fine. So this is the first outfit. It is one of the Inner Star U era outfits, if I'm not mistaken. I remember seeing this outfit in the catalogs and wanting it so bad. So there's that one. Here is the top. And the little shoes, which I just realized still have stuffing in them. That's super sweet. I like when sellers do that. Stuff the toes so they don't get messed up in um, shipping. Which I should probably stuff the toes of all of my shoes piled in my bag of shoes. But I don't do that. So yeah. So there's that outfit. That's the least expensive outfit. I think I paid like 20 something for that one. Now on to the most expensive outfit. Um, first we have a vest and it yep it still has the made in Taiwan tag on it that's upside down but I'm not gonna flip it because it's gonna be hard to get this camera to focus it I'm showing you the um, pieces where you probably won't know what the outfit is here are the little sookies they are so cute they're long they're cute. Let's focus on the socks, please. And they're cute. Okay. Um, next, we have a little skirt. This skirt is absolutely adorable. I really like it. Um, I personally don't wear skirts, but my dolls in skirts is a vibe. So. There's that. Um, then we have the green jumper. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love that it, that's the back of it. Um, I love that it doesn't have Velcro. I feel like it makes it more authentic. Pleasant Company clothes were so good. Apparently this outfit though was released during the Pleasant Company Mattel merger. The reason I say that is because, oh, I just hit the camera, sorry. The shoes have a Made in China for American Girl sticker on them. Even though the um, vest has a Made in Taiwan sticker on them. So this outfit must have been released during the Pleasant Company Mattel merger. Um, and it came with the hanger. And now for the most rare, I keep hitting the camera, I'm so sorry. And now for the most rare part of this outfit is the little star necklace it's so cute um that i think is what made this outfit so expensive um i paid 64 before shipping if i'm not mistaken it's fine though because i use my credit card so i'm paying it off um but yeah those were what i got like everything I think it's super cute and nice and um 
I'm like a, I'm very much in my pleasant company era, in my inner star you era. I think all of it is super adorable. Um, I obviously wasn't all born when pleasant company was around, but I was when inner star you was. And um, because I never owned any of the dolls, I never owned any of the you know apparel of the dolls. But I definitely miss the Pleasant Company Inner Star New Era of American Girl. The Pleasant Company stuff is just such good quality. And the Inner Star U stuff is just perfect for mix and match um, with the Pleasant Company stuff. Um, and I'll show you. I'll give you an example. Because one of my girls is actually wearing a Pleasant Company and um, Inner Star U Chia. Chia has on a pleasant company. Um, oh, oh my God. Lord. Gia has. Let me move this. Just put that down there. Gia has on a pleasant company flannel, an American Girl top, a necklace that I just bought for myself. Um, some American Girl doll le black leggings, and then just some shoes from Timu. Um, Mia is also wearing a partial Pleasant Company American Girl outfit. Um, so is Hayden. And I think that's it. But, you know, I think that Pleasant Company and Inner Star U mix so well because the pieces are so neutral and the ability to style them is so much better than the new stuff that American Girl is coming out with. It's just too childish. Like, I understand that American Girl is for children, but American Girl never used to be this childish. So argument that they're for children and that everything has to look the way it's looking is just not a good argument. A learning girl never used to look like this and the fact that it, they do now just kind of upsetting. Makes me not want to buy the new stuff even though I do have the um, World Traveler and Island set and the um, Christmas Jamie and Jack collection boy outfit but that's because those pieces are literally not childish but yeah so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up um thank you for checking out my video i'll see you guys in the next one bye